In August, the World Health Organization tabled the idea for a joint plan to set up mechanisms to enable countries to easily get access to a COVID-19 vaccine. It is called COVAX, and it aims to work with vaccine manufacturers to provide countries with equitable access to safe and effective vaccines once they are licensed and approved. The WHO wants $35 billion to make the plan a success. At least eight countries in Africa have agreed to self-finance their vaccine doses through this COVAX initiative. Some lower middle income countries, including um, Equatorial Guinea, Botswana, Gabon, Mauritius, Namibia, Seychelles, um, and South Africa. These are some of the countries that, that have agreed as part of this uh, COVAX uh, uh, partnership to, to self-finance and therefore to manifest their interest in having access to the vaccines. The WHO says the at least 170 countries that have signed up are considering nine candidate vaccines and nine others are under evaluation. The WHO aims to procure and deliver two billion doses of approved vaccines by the end of 2021. The Africa CDC, however, says countries should be aware that vaccines alone will not combat COVID-19. And we also have to recognize that even if a vaccine was available today, the world has never in the history of infectious diseases been able to vaccinate 500 million people in one year. The Africa CDC is encouraging countries to do more COVID-19 testing in the meantime. The Africa CDC is sending over 5 million test kits to different countries across the continent to help them increase the 13 million tests that have so far been conducted. It hopes the continent will have tested at least 20 million people by November. And it is now introducing antigen tests. We will be working with partners to distribute an additional 2 million antigen tests. The continent has so far registered at least 1.3 million confirmed COVID-19 positive cases and has lost over 33,000 people to the pandemic. Colette Anjohi, CGTN, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.